Hello, I'm Denise, and welcome to my tour of my medieval village. Uh, please excuse me if I stutter a bit. I'm not really comfortable with this, with doing the uh, whole Let's Play commentary thing, so I'm still kind of new and getting used to it. First of all, this is my little medieval village area thing that I am building on the Minecraft Workbench server. If you would like to know how to join the Workbench server, I'll put all the links in the description below. Now let's go ahead and take a look at what we've got going here. As the sun's setting over the castle, got the little drawbridge going here. Uh, the effect on this gate uh, is going with the smooth stone, uh, yeah, with the smooth stone and cobblestone mix there. It turned out all right. I still gonna play with it a little bit and see what I can come up with. Uh, typical port cutlass. Used the fences for it. Put the doors in just to make it easier to get in and out. Now the village is gonna go. Oh, let me show you that while it's still daylight. This little berm here is gonna be knocked down and leveled out to be level with the drawbridge level there. And I'm going to build a little town right out here. Or I should say a medieval village. Now let's go inside where it'll be safe as it's getting dark. Okay, I don't really have the parapets and stuff done on these sides yet, but we'll go ahead and go up here and take a look. Now, as far as this effect, all I did was half stones, every other one. There's a spot back in the back corner where it's a little messed up, but I figured it back there. It's back there, so it's out of sight, out of mind type deal. This little building here, uh, I don't know really what to say about it. It's just a little building. Uh, it's it's going to be what the buildings out here sort of look like. If I get if I'm happy with the way it turns out. So far, not so much, but we'll see. Now we'll move on to the keep proper. Now this keep is based off of Blarney Castle. It's not a true representation, but it's enough to where you can get the general idea of that's where it's from. Now since you couldn't do the half box to make the tall skinny windows, I did something a little bit different with them and I used the half blocks and did it th this way here. Now this over here is my water ladder that goes all the way down to bedrock and it also has a somewhat safe descent. Uh, I'll explain that later. And I got the lighting here just a typical 2D pole with the torch and then a glass on top. Uh, this is an infinite water well. It's just a standard four by or uh, yeah four block water infinite water su supply that I buried down and covered up and made it into ye old well. And on the inside, come in through the small tower into this main area. Um, not completely happy with the interior. I'll probably be redesigning it a little bit. I don't know. Don't know if I'm gonna keep the the actual mine shaft here or if I'm just gonna make a few basement levels and get rid of all this glass on the upper levels. Speaking of the basement, that's what this little area back here is for. It, I'm going to be digging the basement and using this area for the stairs for it to keep it out of here. And of course, the cake is not a lie. Uh, several floors. Uh, this is the mezzanine area, viewing area for the main room. As Again, like I said, this will probably change a bit by the time I'm done these windows I made them you can't get in or out of them because as you can see they're only one and a half blick blocks high and you do not have the room to go through 
and I put a half step down into here and there's a ladder that goes from the bottom floor right downstairs all the way up to the top here and this goes into the third story I believe and you can see the larger windows here my count was a bit off when I first started making it and by the time I realized that it was off it was either live with it or tear it all down and start over so I just lived with, just decided I'm gonna live with it see as you can see there's some spots that don't exactly match up but and then you got the very top of the building here there is no interior design going I'm not very good at that and it's not a high on my priority list now right there that is my trench trap uh, it, uh, the hole in the middle there that that little island is covering there is actually goes down uh, to about level 24 I think it is and there's a, also a dark room trap I'm gonna actually create a few dark room traps under there and over here you can get the nice view of the front end now Creeperville is that direction I do have a few things over there that I'll show you in another video now that's it for now I will pause the video and we'll go down and we'll take a look at my water ladder now I just with this water ladder I did something different I mean it's your normal water ladder there's the water's back that direction and it goes down and the ladders hold it up blah 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 there's just plenty of videos on how to do that and I may make a video on how I actually built this water ladder but what's different about this is the somewhat safe uh, rapid descent right now I am in sneak mode let's remove sneak mode and drop on down stay sorta of in the middle see as you can see I slowed down there and look I didn't drop through any water and yet I landed safely now the reason why I call this semi safe is if you don't do it properly or if you fall and you lose control on your descent you could hit these ladders and die now this is my bedrock core uh, that was a failed attempt at trying to find this hole oh hey look there's, there's some string jerking around yep. now that is oh that's the that's my yeah obsidian down there uh, this is actually the feeder from my grinder I just have it one wide doing your you know, you know your typical feeder thing and I'll show you how that feeds in and up here see because I have to have a two wide thing for the feeder and I'll show you that in a, here in a second and those come this way and drop down into this and that feeds it around and drops it on down into the proper area oh that's cobble uh, excuse me now we'll take you up and show you the dark room and the grinder area just a second I'll pause it and this is the grinder uh, nothing too fancy just too wide, uh, two blocks of lava just spilling out over there, and on a little pedestal being held up by a couple of ladders there. Then you got the dark room trap and the trench traps that feed down into this hole right there, and they drop down here. Anything that drops down from the trench traps is going to die, of course. Uh, and anything that doesn't die on the drop will get ground up by the nice little lava flow see and then oh, oops, there was something else and then this here I got this ladder here holding keeping this water at bay and right down there is where my trench trap or where my grinder actually feeds into my delivery system I might be updating that delivery system a little bit but this is the way I've found that it works fairly well 
Now this setup is fairly efficient, although it doesn't get a lot of spiders. I think that just has to do with the design of my trench trap. Oh, and there's a creeper. Huh, I guess he went away. I think it has something to do with the way multiplayer is. Yeah, because he, he keeps bouncing back. He'll make it down into my into my dip, or uh, I should say his sulfur will make it down into my collection area soon. Oh, see, there he goes. There, now he's dying. See, and there's a creeper that dropped in from my trench trap. And it takes a little while for him to get down into my collection area. See, and this is my main thing. Right up there is the keep. And that's about it. Take it easy, guys. Uh, this is, like I said, this is just my little tour thing. Uh, blah. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. If you got any tips for me, I know that I'm saying um a lot, so please, I'll work on that. Uh, as I said, this is my first time doing this. Let me know how I did. Well, actually, not my first time. I do have one Let's Play out. So, guys, be gentle with me. If you got any tips for me, hey, I'm more than willing to hear them. Just leave them in the comments. Thanks. See you later.